Hello everybody, we're back, and I want to show you uh, two apps this time, because we're going to combine them because they're sm small enough. Maps. maps and browser. So let's click on maps and just get in here. Now this map actually, this gets downloaded when you use the up system update as soon as you turn on your Vita, and I recommend you do, because you never know what glitches they've not found out yet. So you'll see it's going to open up a map, and it's going to use our location for Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm going to scroll down, or I'm just going to say accept, because Google already owns my soul, based on the contract I signed. Um... Yes, please do location data because otherwise I can't do anything about it. Okay, so now it's going to find our actual location, and you'll see that it's already found us relatively in, uh, the, United in States. the eastern New Jersey area. Yeah, I'll just say eastern New Jersey. That's going to throw them off. So uh, let's look up a let's look up a, a place, shall we? Let's uh, look up uh, uh, Washington D.C. Sure. Uh, I can't type it on the side. <laughs> Now, Washington, D.C. is a pretty big place, Tony. You do realize that, right? I know, but it's going to show us. See? Right there. It's actually very fast, considering uh, it probably loads the system. It loads it really fast with the Wi-Fi. It probably has the map and all of its locations built into the application. So all you got to do is tell where it is, and it'll find it, because it's not like Washington, D.C. moves every day. <laughs> well, if you were using the mathematical description, you know, the, the rotation of the planet, the revolution around the sun... The... Not relative to where we are on the planet, though. Oh, yeah, I, I guess you're right. So I could zoom in and see how far this thing zooms. It zooms zoom into, into this is actually molecules. <laughs> here we go. I don't know where we are. I can't read anything yet. So, uh, have you ever been on Mexico Avenue? Nope. There's Glover Park. How do you know about that? Uh, <laughs> Wait, stop moving so let the thing load. It's loading it now. It's, I mean, it's or I mean, yes. Oh, is this, is this I think it's going to try and make it a little bit less. Uh, yeah, there. Oh, wow. No. You can see it goes even further. Have you ever been? Uh, where were you? Uh, Tunnel Northwest. When the bus you can't came. Can't prove anything. When the bus came. Oh, now see, there's the bus. Oh, I think this is as uh, close as you can get. Still, that's pretty, oh, there that's pretty darn close. What the heck does that do? I think we're just back to our location. No, I think it's actual pictures. Satellite? Wait, well, you know, no, that is pretty, that's pretty our location. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where we are. Uh, What's this do? Search for locations, place a flag, bookmarks, and settings. Okay. So, and there we go. So, zoom out. It's not going to have like a f the full GPS system. I, mean, I don't think it has a satellite on because, there. Because it, I mean, keep in mind that it's a fact of th uh, not a 3G version of the PlayStation Vita. It wouldn't work us very well, anyways, because we, as soon as we step outside, it would lose signal. Uh, so I can't tell if I'm squishing it. Then why don't you just get out of here? Since right. we're kind of done with that. All right. Now we're going to show you the browser, which also got gave, given to us. Yes. And then you go here. Now you can see we actually have uh, something open right now. It's the last story uh, coming to you for the Wii later this year, thanks to XC Games. It was a big surprise. So uh, was... Anyway, click on this here, and we'll just open it up, and it'll bring us to what appears to be the main screen, which will actually leads us to. Oh, this actually leads us to that one uh, page we were just at. Yep. So you'll see that we're actually looking at a, a, a mobile app for NeoGaf, so uh, represent. Uh, you see that uh, you can zoom in just as much as you could before. That doesn't work very well with an app that's meant to stay full screen. What's that saying? Oh, look, it's a, there's a definitive PSP RPG Vita thread. How about that? I'll just take a look at this. There we go. You'll see it's loading at the top with the rotating bar, <laughs> stop, all the search features, favorites, you know. Yep. And uh, so you can see you zoom up. Uh, third birthday is available right now for download, by the way, in case you don't have that for the PlayStation Portable and you're looking for some Square Enix action and Parasite Eve uh, relativeness. Anyway, um, also oh, this guy. This guy, yeah. We're advertising for other PlayStation games while we're here. I figure, why not? Uh, Fade Extra looks pretty good. Anyway, and before we get, again, you, again, you can zoom before in. Before I get pulled into, you can, yeah, you can select stuff like that. So you can get the full screen. It's actually very well uh, applicated. Also, one cool thing is if you uh, get to the end of a screen and you start pulling at it, everything kind of squishes and stretches. Kind of like because you are stretching it beyond. Because you are stretching it. Yeah. So you can, you can search for something. Uh, search for bacon. By the way, the company that makes this uh, system is the same that made Nintendo 3DS's Internet Explorer, so it's kind of similar in what in its uh, in what it can. It's a little bit smoother because of the cover of the hardware is slightly better. Yep, and you can see Bacon from Wikipedia, <laughs> and you can see it's Bacon. Set... Yeah, there's some uh, uncooked pork belly bacon strips. I guess we know what we're having for dinner tonight, and it is not bacon. Uh, yep. yep. It's pretty much straightforward. It's a web browser. And let's see if we... I, I didn't check to see if we can do it, but can we do this? No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Is it possible to fill upside down? 
No. Okay. So it stays upright, unlike mobile phones, where they usually have uh, it not locked. But it's still relatively good. It's I find it really useful because it actually doesn't... I don't think it uh, forces you to close a program, but don't quote me on that. Uh, you can see here, you can open up all the windows you might have. If you want to add a new window, say, I want to find... Uh, you know, I'm sick and tired of bacon. Let's look up something else, some other pork-related product. But uh, <laughs> you can also look at your favorites here. You can see NeoGAF's already up there. And you can also see if you want placing.com right over there. Click that. I think it's, uh, it's always there. It's, you know, it is always there, but it's not like I saved it by a... You know, because I don't follow PlayStation.com all the time. But you see, it's all right there and all that fun stuff. The, it's a pretty basic browser setup. There is no... Oh, yeah, by the way, in case you want to go to YouTube, there is no Flash service on this. I tried going on there once already, and it said, Oh, sorry, you update your Flash. And, and well, good luck, good luck, luck with, that. with that. So, there's no Flash on this, just like the other browsers we've tried out before. So, uh... There you go. So, we have bacon on Wikipedia. So, anyway, that's it for this uh, time for uh, Maps and Browser.